That momentary lapse of judgment changed my life forever. Former competitive freestyle skier Mike Shaw survived a near-death experience, and he now shares his story. I went from wearing my coaching hat to my skiing hat, I'm sitting off down the hill. I think I was trying to put in a headphone, and boom. I got hit right here with a gut-sinking feeling. Something didn't feel right. I ended up taking up ten, taking off a bit farther over. I've watched that video like a million times to see that that snow gun that was over here at the left side of the run, it was pointing across the run, but it had also been pointing down the run. And I didn't ever stop to look at it or see that it was there. There was a smaller pile, but I ended up carving over and landing kind of on like just the toe of the out, of the edge of it in some of that punchy snow, pitching onto my pitching forwards. I landed on my feet, but uh, when I impacted on my head and neck, I crushed my spinal cord so fast that it didn't even register that my feet had hit the ground. Before I slid to a stop, I was already going, no, 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 like, I just broke my neck. There's a safety rule that's been made, is typically because somebody got hurt doing that thing at that point in time in that way. So we make a rule or a procedure or a guard or something to protect us. Although we make all these rules, people are still gonna break them, especially like, I was, I was that age too, and I was breaking the rules, I, I got off lucky. So I'm like, what do we do? We can start educating some kids. Yes, they need to know the rules, but we can also start talking to them about a couple other things. And we start to thinking about personal awareness. For more information on keeping safe around the workplace, you can visit worksafebc.com. For Cast the News, I'm Madison Earhart in Kelowna. Looking for things to do? Find our event section under our blue Our Town button in the yellow masthead. Also, post an event for free anytime.